Hi there, everyone, and welcome to another edition of the FDU Softball Report here on FDUnites.com. John Lauder along with the head coach of the FDU Softball team, Candy Letts. Coach, how are you? Good, John. How are you doing? I'm doing just fine. Let's go back to uh, St. Peter's, the first doubleheader of this past week. You guys scored 21 runs, win both games of the doubleheader. Very impressive overall, both offensively and the pitching staff as well. Absolutely. We got our bats going early, which definitely relaxed our pitching staff. Our pitchers did a great job in throwing, getting ahead in counts, and our defense did obviously a great job to get us out of any sticky situations. Now, 14 runs in the first, seven runs in the second. What were the hitters seeing? Um, they were seeing everything, just attack in their zone, swing in the zone, swing in the strike zone, and they obviously adjusted well to that. And and, uh, and also the pitchers were throwing a lot of balls, so they were very patient, so when they got a ball in the zone, they drove it. Now, this weekend, two NEC series, obviously two very good teams in Central Connecticut State and also Mount St. Mary's. You guys win one out of four. Just some thoughts on how those games went. You know, um, obviously I think the thing that comes up is that we didn't put the ball in play enough. I, when we did put the ball in play, we had some success. We got runners in scoring position, uh, but we just didn't come up with a timely hit. We didn't string our hits together. That's what you need to do to beat a good pitcher. And, um, you know, we're working on that. We'll still, you know, stay true to that. We're going to keep working and working until we get that to go our way. Our pitchers did, a, I thought, did an exceptional job this weekend and kept us in the ball game to give us an opportunity to muster up some runs. And you mentioned that just eight runs in the four games, whether it was Reiner, whether it was Lem, everybody that went out there seemed to be kind of focused and they did a good job shutting down those offenses. Yeah, they did. They they kept us in the ball game so that we could again find opportunities to score. And if it wasn't for the, their stellar performances, you know, we don't know where those games would have really been. Now, Alex Portesi wins NEC Rookie of the Week. Very impressive over the weekend. How important has she been to the success of the team so far as a freshman? Well, you know, you've seen her, the growth in her from the first ball game to now, and she's, you know, playing mentally like a like a veteran player, and yet still the freshman in her, which makes her exciting and getting after it and doesn't really know what to expect other than just go out there and play as hard as she can. So two series uh, this upcoming week. The Army series is supposed to be here tomorrow. It gets moved to Thursday at Army. What do you expect to see from the Black Knights? You know, they're they're um, they're trying to get themselves on track too. They lost a couple games this last weekend, and and they're they're trying to find a way to get themselves on track. They have speed. They have they have good hitting, and we're just going to have to keep swinging the bats and, and putting pressure on them. And final question for you, Coach: You have Sacred Heart this upcoming weekend. You guys need wins in the NEC. What's going to be the key to get the win against them? Um, hit. Hit and execute. If we could do that, our, our pitchers sh sh have shown that they can keep us in a ball game. So if we're aggressive at the plate, make good decisions, I think we, we can come away feeling real good about that series. All right, Coach, good luck this week. Thank you. Thanks, John. All right, as always, go to FGUnites.com for all the latest up-to-date news, info, stats, and more on your FDU softball team.